Yes, and uh, the ultimatum to pay back or lose my job is, is showing me here. I don't know what to do. So I'm sorry if I can play along with your smiling game, okay? Uh -uh. Trust me, babe. The surprise is what you smile. Smile for me, babe, please. Okay, okay. What's that? Come on, babe, smile. Ah, babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Check it for what? Just bring it. Don't be stubborn, babe. Come on. Oh, baby. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. I sent you money so you add up with the one you have and pay up the missing form. Baby. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You actually did this for me? I know, babe. You, you've saved my job, you've saved my career, you... Baby, what can I ever do to repay you? This is... I don't know how to thank you, baby. What did I do to deserve you? You're beautiful inside out, you're the best I, I, I... Baby... You know I love you so much. And I would do anything to make you happy. I can see the man I love suffer, but I can help. No way. Baby, what will I ever do without you? Nothing. You're everything to me, baby. I love you so much. Yeah, I love you more. So now, can I have a big smile? <laughs> Baby, it was just the baby part. You know Bella. You know how close Bella is to me. There's no way I would have missed her party. So your friendship with Bella supersedes my authority as your boyfriend. Because I specifically told you not to go to that party. Yet you chose to disrespect me. Is that how low you think of me? Attending a friend's party become a problem. You don't know what you're doing. I'm not stupid. How many men did you date? Kill you? How many men did you exchange contact with? Because I know that's the reason you went there. For men! Steve, you are insulting me. What do you take me for? I went to the party because of men? Is that how cheap you think of me or what? Why else would you go to the party if not men? Why would you disrespect me if not men? Preferably sugar daddy. Enough! Stop it! You know what? I will not stand here and watch you insult me because of your insecurities. You hear me? Go face yourself. Stay! Stay! No, I have you disrespect me. Stay. Next time you talk back at me, Stay. when I'm talking to you, what I will do to you, Stay. you will never Stay. live to hear it. Do you understand me? Stay. You understand me? Foolish girl. You dare walk out on me. Could you enslave yourself to this kind of a man all in the name of love? And please don't even start with the sermon of, huh, of how much you love him, how much you can't do without him, and how much you are compatible together. You people are not compatible! Not in any way, not from where I'm standing! 
You just told me now that he gone for your throat simply because you came for my birthday party. Who does that? What kind of a beast is he? Bella. Steve is not a beast. <clears throat> he just doesn't know how to control himself when he's angry. That's all. Can you hear yourself? A guy who chokes you at every little provocation. You're here defending him. That guy is nothing but an insecure freak. Bella, you're insulting my man. <laughs> Steve is not as bad as you make him look. He's a very sweet person. He's a sweet man. Remember how he helped me when I lost my first job? You need to loosen up when it has to do with Steve. Hey! God forbid. God forbid that beast is a sweet guy to you. The way I'm looking at it. He can never be. What is wrong with you? Bella, he has been calling to apologize. He's sorry. For real. He's been calling to apologize to you so he can lure you back to that house and inflict more pain on you, Abby. You're not even seeing me. You're just here defending him. Bella. Don't bella me. Please receive sense. What is it? I think you're taking this thing too far. And I think you're being too senseless and too unreasonable. Steve is not a bad guy. Hi. He's sweet. He's sweet. Like this. I've seen a lot He's sweet. of change. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and Who's every that? day. The past is Who's where knocking? it stays. Way back a year ago. <sighs> I've changed for the better. I'm coming. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. Baby. Baby. How are you, my love? My love. I'm so sorry for what happened. I shouldn't have laid my hands on you. I shouldn't have called you names. I was angry, but I should have handled the situation better, different. Please forgive me, baby. I'm so, so sorry. Darling, I, I promise you, I will never hurt you. I will never hurt you again like that. Please, my love. Steve, this is what you always do. You hurt me, apologize, and promise it will never happen again. Steve, what crime are you punishing me for? Is it a bad thing to be in love with you? I really need to know, Steve. Baby, you know that's not true. I mean, you, you know I would never mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. And I, I promise you, baby, if you, if you forgive me, I will be a better man. You will only have better, different Steve. My baby, I need you to come back. 
I mean, baby, I can't seem to get it together without you. Please. I'm sorry. Come back? Yes, my love. Come back to you and then what? You start from where you have stopped? Stevie, I really need to know. Did I do something bad to you? Have I wronged you in any way? Because obviously you derive joy in making me feel bad. No, baby. Baby. Look. My love. Don't touch me. I... Baby, I promise you, if you forgive me, I will never do anything like this again. And if I do, just know that it's the end of us. Don't forgive me again. Please. But I need you, baby. Come on. Maybe it's your baby boy. Hmm? Maybe it's, it's, it's Steve, you know. Hmm? Baby Mo. Hmm? Baby, see, I, I got you. Got you some flowers. I know how much you love flowers. They're beautiful. They smell so, 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 so great. Hmm? Beautiful, just like you. Come and smell them. Hmm. Look at you. It's your flowers, baby. Don't push them away. Hmm. Take them now. Just smell them. Smell good? You won't do it again. I won't do it again. I swear I won't. This is your last promise. The last time. Sure. Cross my heart. Now, wow. So this people won't bring the hockey back. But I told the waiter. I don't know why. Long. Waiter! I think she will bring it. Kebab, please. Bring our kebab now. Steve, that reminds me. Huh? How far? Which one? The issue in your office. You've not talked about the issue in your office. Uh, has it been resolved? I didn't tell you, brother. It's been resolved. I was able to pay back the money. Uh, we couldn't track down the person who made a fake deposit now. So we just, I just had to pay for it because it was on my watch. For real? Mm -hmm. You paid? I paid. Whoa! Nice one, man. <laughs> I'm happy for you, bro. Whoa! My man. But you told me you didn't have such amount of money. How did you manage to pay it? I didn't have the money, but Ruth came and she brought some money. Bro, she surprised me. Oh. So what I did was I just stopped up and uh, I paid. Ruth again. Yeah. Ruth again. Mm -hmm. That girl is a wonderful girl. Okay. Oh. She's so nice. Hey, my brother, don't start to preach. Eh? She's nice. She's wonderful. She's kind. She's sweet. That's why she's my girlfriend. I've heard you. Don't push to me right now. Let's focus on eating our kebab and uh, having a good time. Bro, whether you want to hear it or not, that is the truth. The simple truth. Let me tell you something. Hold on, let me tell you something. You see that girl? She's a nice person. Uh -huh. And she's rare. Her type is rare. Uh -huh. Let me warn you. Don't lose that girl. Because if you lose that girl, it will be very crazy. hard for you. you know I'm crazy. It will be hard for you to get her replacement. Oh. Uh, okay, I hear Can I go? Can we just go? A waiter! <laughs> Babe, mm. what's your plan for your birthday? My birthday? Mm -hmm. How are we going to celebrate it? <laughs> Come on, babe, my birthday is in two months. November. Why do I have to think about how to celebrate my birthday now? Come on, babe. Your birthday is not rubbish. It's important. Hey, it? hey, listen to me. I said. I do not have time for the rubbish you're saying. If you don't have anything important to say, 
Just shut up. I'm watching TV. Okay? Oh. Baby. Why are you being aggressive? I'm just trying to make plans for your bed. It's not a crime. Come on. Look, I'm not one of your friends who's obsessed with birthdays. I told you, if you don't have anything reasonable to say, just shut up. I'm watching TV. Please. What's your problem? Oh, I think you're being unnecessarily harsh. Come here. Hey, get up. Stay up. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. I'm watching television. We just keep. What, what bed they. What, 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 who cares about bed they? Shut, 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 shut. Shut up. Watch TV. Damn. Baby. Baby. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Babe. What is it? Wake up. Why? What is it? Why are you crying? Baby, is this something bad that I have done? Or maybe something I'm not doing right? Why do you ask? Because, because everything that I do irritates you. You kept mad at me with no reason and it to me it's not even a big deal for you. Baby, please, if I've done something wrong, tell me so I can apologize, please. Baby, no. You've done nothing wrong. You've been the most wonderful, amazing girlfriend ever. And come on. I'm sorry if you feel this way. You don't have to blame yourself, baby. I'm sorry, look. I... Uh, I promise, I promise, I will be better going forward and I won't make you cry anymore, okay? Babe, this is what you always do. Apologize and make promises. The next day you're back to yourself and you still make me feel bad, please. No, I'm no, tired. listen to me, listen to me. Hey, baby, hey, hey. <laughs> listen to me. This time around, I swear to you, I will treat you like my angel. I will treat you like a chicken egg. I love you. Please. I will not make you cry. Look, you have no reason to cry. I swear to you, I love you with all my heart. I hate to see you crying, baby. Please. Oh, please, come on. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Please, babe. I will never make you cry again, okay? Oh, I love you. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. What have I even done? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, baby. Sorry. So much, I don't know why. But... Yeah, I wish you the best day, my love. Lovely day to you, my love. How is my princess doing? Very well. And how is my prince charming doing? I hope you're having a nice day too. Sure, sure. I was um, just wondering if her royal sweetness would be free to go to dinner with 
with me this evening. A dinner date? Pip, I can't remember the last time we did that. What did we talk about? Did we not talk about changing, being a better man? Mmm. Sounds interesting. I'm at your service, baby. Anytime, any day. It's 7 o'clock. Ecstasy. Is that okay for you? That's perfect. Anything my baby wants. Okay, my love. See you then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, baby. How was work today? Um, I need to sleep this day. What is it, baby? Come on. Is that work again? Yeah, it is. Yes, Sam, what's up? Yes, I left it with Bella since morning. Now? <laughs> Sam, I can't come now, please. Please just tell them I cannot make it now. Um, I'll do it in the morning. Yes, thank you. Sorry, babe. Do you want me to bring something? No, 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 it's okay. Who's there? Sam, from the office. Sam from the office calling you at this time of the night. So what gives him the, the liberty to call you at this time of the night? Maybe they need the file in my office. They need it for a board meeting. Wait till I sort it out now. So it's just a so. file, right? All the pep talks and sweet talks and everything. Sweet? Just tell me what is going on between you and Sam. Baby. What can I possibly be doing with my... You know what? You know what? I always knew that you couldn't be trusted. And the fact that Sam can just take his phone and call you any time of the night, it means that something's going on. Baby, come on, I've sorted it out, please. So, this... You know what, you know what, you know what, it's okay. I'm out of here. I don't dare follow me, okay? Steve! Steve what? Steve what? Are you being serious? The fact that we're out, I don't even want to touch, I don't want to lay my hands on you. Do you understand me? So just stay here and don't dare follow me, all right? I'm being nice because I have people around, all right? Don't You're try. joking. I'm joking. Follow me, you know if I'm joking. Steve! Don't follow me. Steve, come on, are you joking right now? Steve! I knew it. I knew it that when you called and said that it was Steven that was wrong with you. But I thought you swore that he changed. This is so much for change. Look, I need you to stop crying and tell me exactly what you're going to do about this. What do you want to do about Steven? I am done. <laughs> I cannot continue like this. I'm done with a relationship. I'm done. Very good. You see this decision you made right now? That is the best decision of your life right now. You're done with Steven. You are sure you are done. In your mind, body, soul, and spirit, you are done. Okay. See? I need you to look me in the face and let's agree this together. Are you done with Steven? Yes. Look, I need you to say this to yourself. It's not just agreeing with me. I need to hear you say it because that means you're agreeing that you're done in your head, your body, your soul and spirit. So just say it. Say, I am done with Steven. Well, I am done. 
till I am done with Stephen. I'm never going back to him again. <sighs> Even if he comes here begging with all the flowers. I am done. Very good! Now we're on the same page. Ah, congratulations! You've just regained your sanity, your freedom from that tyrant. Goodbye to nonsense. Look, baby girl, we need to go celebrate. Come on, stop crying. Look, there are plenty of men everywhere. You don't know anything. Pella, plenty. Please, please, not today, not now. Look, forget these tears you're crying. This one, we are going to celebrate. My dear, you have been through thick and thin. The worst has happened to you. And I must tell you, kudos, you really tried. <laughs> you tried. What? forever. No! 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 She's my woman. She's my woman. Oh God. Oh, thank God it's just a dream. After I had a dream, I went to Ruth's office to beg her, you don't talk to her. Do you know she asked me out of her office? She kicked me out of the office. What if I lose Ruth? Go for bed and bind every force, every power, everything, anyone that is trying to separate me and Ruth. I bind it. I bind you. Evil forces, I bind you. Wait, what are you doing? What Listen to me. This is not the time to cast and bind or say, God forbid. If you don't change your attitude, if you don't change all the things you're doing, this is your attitude, trust me, you will lose her. Because you can't treat her this way and expect to stick keep her. What is wrong with you? Yusuf, Haba. Yusuf, I've never been more scared in my life. Even in the dream. Huh? I, I passed out in the dream. 
What if she doesn't come back to me? What if we now she, she she hasn't been talking to me? She she she's not coming. What if she doesn't come back? What am I going to do? Then you bear your cross. Don't talk like that. You had your opportunities, man. You did. You still don't talk like that now. You still have changed. I've changed. This period without her brought the nightmare. That nightmare I had. Eh? It's, they've taught me a great lesson. And I have Ruth back in my life. Eh? Look, I will treat her like a chicken egg. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm telling you. I've changed. I will take good care of her. Mm. I've changed. I, I will do this. I will do this. Look. Easier said than done. If you like, don't change. Hmm? Please just allow me, let me enjoy this, my drink in peace. Yusuf. Enough of this root, root, root. Ah. Yusuf, Yusuf. You know I'm not like that now. I'm a good guy now. Don't know what comes for me sometimes. But I mean, you know, you see, for instance, we're growing up now. more official, you know, um, making the union more legal to all of us, me and you. Hold. Are you talking about marriage? Exactly, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, as if it's okay by you, you know. I'm thinking about um, us maybe uh, meeting our families, you know. Come here, come here, come here, honey. Meeting our families. I think it's time we tired a lot, baby. changed. Not long ago, you weren't interested in this topic. Um, and then I experienced what it felt like to live without you. And it made me to understand what needs to be done, baby. It made me to understand what is most important for me. Is this your way of making things up? No, 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 baby, come on, no. This is from an honest place in my heart. Baby, look. I want you in my life forever. And I just think it's time that we just seal things, you know? Just make it more official, baby. You know what I want forever with you. You and I. Well, um, um, honestly, I don't know what to say. Can I think about it, please? Of course, you, you, you can actually think about it. But as you think about it, you have to remember that Whatever I'm saying to you is from a sincere place in my heart. Mm. And I want you in my life forever, baby. Come on, I really do. You 
you, I love you, right? has been ringing since we've been talking so what's up nothing i just don't want to answer you just don't want to answer you don't want me to know that you're seeing someone else is it how fast it happens come on bella you know me too well it's not that easy to move on <laughs> okay let's find out who he is bella steve again i thought you said he stopped calling you Wait. That face is the face of I have recon. Ruth, have you reconciled with him again? What is wrong with you? Bella, come on. He's a changed person. Yusuf even confirmed it. He's a changed Yusuf even confirmed it. Can you hear yourself speak? Ruth, you're so unbelievable. Like, how can you even think of this kind of a thing? Who does that? Huh? He asked me to marry him. Oh my goodness. And you're thinking about marrying him, aren't you? But I don't know. That's why I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> Should I say yes? Should you say yes? To a man who doesn't have any marital right to you. Treats you like trash and Boom, you want to marry him. What do you think he's going to do when you finally become his? Pamper you? You think that's what he's going to do? Oh, come on. What is wrong with you? You know what, eh? <laughs> I am not even going to stress my beautiful head over this. I will just call your mother and tell her of what is going on because I have had it. Come on. You cannot even see up for your nose right now. Bella, it hasn't gotten to that. You don't have to call my mom. I will handle things. You will handle things. You will hand. This is the face of you will handle things. You know what? Just get into the car. I am sure calling your mother. Come on. Who's that? Come in, come in, come in. Bella, come in. Is everything okay? Huh. Are you coming to my house at the time of the night? Is everything okay? I don't know what you hypnotize my friend with, but I am here to warn you. If you ever in your life hurt her again or lay your filthy hands on her again, you will have me to contend with. Do you understand? Bella, are you okay? No, I'm asking. Are you okay? <laughs> so you dare come to my house to insult me? You come to my house to, to threaten me? Bella, are you high on something? You the case? Call me crazy, call me anything you want. I'm not here for myself. I am here to warn you. And all this you're saying is a promise I am making you understand. If you ever, in this your whatever length of life you have, touch that girl again, you will hear from me. Do you understand me? I hear from you. Yes, you will hear from me. I will leave. I will leave. No, don't you dare. Get out. Don't you dare. Get out. Don't you dare. Who are you? Idiot. Don't you dare. Like should have gone to his house. It's not as if he forced me to get back with him. <laughs> Come on, that was not necessary. 
So, wait. So, he reported me to you? No. It wasn't a report. Okay. He wants me to let you know he's a changed person. Uh -huh. Please. And he also thinks it's cool I have a friend that can stand up for me. <laughs> you really need to give him a chance. You know that I could see his nonsense bravada, right? Fine. Since he sent you to me, let me equally send you right back to him. Tell him that I meant every word that I said to him. That if he as much as touches you again, I will come for him. And that is for a fact. And that is cool. But trust me, nothing like that will happen again. Please, Bella, he's changed. Please. Please, Bella, he's changed. Oh, congratulations. So the beast has changed from being a beast or a monster. I don't even know which one he is. To not being any of them. All of a sudden, he's now a saint. Oh, come on, please. Tell me something else I don't know. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell you something that you do not know. His birthday is in two days. And I want to surprise him with a really nice gift. I want you to come with me, Bella. Please. <laughs> come on. Come with you. Mm -hmm. And go and do what? As what? As, as to go and witness what? What am I going there to go and do? See, please, what you're yelling is nonsense. I don't want to hear it. Bella, it's not just about his birthday. I plan on... accepting his proposal on that day and i need you my best friend to cheer me up please bella please <laughs> what you, you wait, 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 wait are you okay you've lost it though are you aware you've lost it bella if he as much as touches you again or even kills you in the process because the chances are very close don't even come here to tell me because as it stands now, I have completely washed my hand of this monstrous relationship that you are having. Bella, none of that will happen. Please, bestie, I need you to go with me. Come this on. one is all on you. Your life, your rules, whatever you like, do. Bella! Bella, come on, stop getting upset. Oh. Hello, good day. Uh, my name is Bella. I'm a friend to Ruth, Stephen's girlfriend. Oh, you're Bella? Yes. Bella. You don't look huge as I expected. Okay, what does that mean? <sighs> Steve told me you came to warn him about Ruth. So I was having a picture of a huge lady with such guts and courage. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's okay. <laughs> so, how are you doing? I'm okay, and I don't have to be big to be able to understand the kind of pain he's inflicting on her. And that is the same reason why I'm here. I need your help. Well, I must say it's nice to meet you in person. I'm Yusuf, as you already know. And I'm Bella, like I said earlier. So what issue are you talking about? You already know the issue on ground. Come on. It's a relationship between Steven and Ruth. That guy is gradually killing that girl. And Ruth cannot even see beyond her nose. I need your help. Bella, right? Yes. I understand what you're trying to talk about. But you see, the two people we're talking about here are two grown adults. And nobody has the right to dictate how they live their lives. Are you aware of that? I'm aware that they are both consensual adults. I get it. But have you seen the amount of pain he inflicts on her? Breaking of ATMs, choking her, stalking her and all of those things. That is demonic. If he's doing this in a common relation, what do you think will happen when it transcends into, into, into marriage? 
Please, I need your help. I need you to help me save my friend. Assuming your prediction is right and you want me to help, how do I come in? Look, okay, I know Ruth listens to you. I need you to convince her that Stephen is not the way to go. She's making the mistake of her life if she agrees to marry him. Bella, do you realize that Steve is my friend and you are asking me to sabotage my friendship with him? What you're asking me to do is against the bro code, okay? Look, Yusuf, just hold on, okay? I, I know. But it's not about friendship here. It's about someone's life, Ruth's life. And you know this for a fact. I need you to just help me save this girl before something wrong happens to her, please. I will see what I can do, but I'm not making promises. I will find out about it, okay? Okay, thank you for your time and for even trying to think about it, I am really hopeful you're going to do something. You're welcome. By the way, you're a very good friend. Friends like you are hard and rare to see, so just keep up the good work, okay? Okay, but Ruth is more like a sister to me. We go way back, so this is personal and I can't watch and just fold my arms while things go wrong in her life. She's too innocent for that. All the same, very good friend. Have a nice day. Thank you for your time. Mr. Yusuf, it's a surprise to see you. So tell me, to what do I owe this visit? Well, I'm here because I have a concern. You do? It's about Steve. Steve? What's going on with Steve? Nothing really. I'm here to discuss his marriage proposal to you and what it would mean if you accept it. Mm. Bella came to you. Yes, she did. And she raised a valid concern. Okay. Ruth, do you think it's right to accept Steve's proposal? <sighs> Mr. Yusuf, I'm grateful that you're trying to look out for me. Thank you so much. But you see, Mr. Yusuf, Steve, my man, he has changed. Lately, he's been keeping to his words. He's not giving me any reason to doubt him. So why not? Why would I not consider getting married to him? Of course I will. I don't doubt that. Would you mind holding on a little longer with the acceptance? To be sure. Why do I have to hold on? Mr. Yusuf, I love Steve. He's the love of my life. And he loves me too. He adores me. So why do I need to hold on when I'm sure I want to spend the rest of my life with Steve? You see, Ruth? You're right. I never doubt your stance with each other. But I want you to know something. I am your friend, just as Steve is my friend too. All I'm asking is just for you to hold on a little longer, just to be double sure. Is that too much to ask as a friend? Maybe. But Mr. Yusuf, I've got good news for you. Tomorrow is Steve's birthday. And I intend to accept his proposal tomorrow. Well, it was just a piece of my mind. But since you're convinced, I wish you all the good luck. Congratulations in advance. Thank you so very much, Mr. Yusuf. And I have to take my leave now. 
Okay. Please do have a nice day. You too. It's a pleasure having you around. A pleasure. See you around. Thanks for coming. Please be careful. Sure will. All right. Take care. You too. Have a nice day. You too. Who's that? It's me. Sarah. Hey, Steve. What are you doing here? I brought something for your birthday. Oh, um, what is it? Ta da! <laughs> My favorite one. Mm -hmm. What are you what are you doing here? I mean I haven't seen you for a long time. What did you no. think of me? very much uh -huh. and God will continue to bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much baby. But uh, we spoke just a few minutes ago. I wasn't expecting you. Uh huh. That's because I wanted to surprise you baby. I got this for you. I was already on my way when we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you baby. It's lovely. Of course I know what you like. Well, the gift aside, come here baby boy. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Are you right? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Come I was... on, babe. It's your birthday. You shouldn't let anything stress you. Listen up. Listen up. <laughs> Don't you want Have something to drink? I'm good. Mm -hmm. You're enough. Are no longer together. What is this? What did I say to you? You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. Now, you just quickly go and get it open, right? Okay. 
Oke. Good day. My name is Dr. Jane. You were involved in an accident that was brought in by this gentle young man. But luckily there was no serious injury. Yes, and it, it was it was my car that that hit you. And I am so sorry. So sorry. Accident? Yes. How can what's happening here? here? Steve, Steve, you told me you, you two are no longer, longer together. together. What, what is I this? I told you what? What did I say that to you? Steve! <laughs> do, do you have anyone you can call? Like your friend or your family? Bella. Okay. Please, do you have my phone? Yes, let me get it. Okay, all right. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, you'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. I regret ever meeting that devil we can't. Well, looking on the bright side, my darling, I am happy that you're finally seeing him for the devil incarnate that he is. My joy right now is that it didn't go from bad to worse before we found out the kind of man that he is. And you seeing him for the bad person that he truly is. All that all those love and flowers that he brings. So cheer up, okay? Sorry ladies, sorry to interrupt you. Um, the doctor said that she's free to go. Yes. And for real now? Yeah, actually, I mean she can be discharged now. That's what she told me. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Demaya. You're welcome. She's a nice person. You're welcome. I am so, so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Let me go quickly check in with the receptionist and just tidy a few things. Okay. Yes, right. okay. Come on, stop crying. It's good readers to bad rubbish, okay? <laughs> He's lost. <laughs> He's lost me. Okay, easy, watch your step. Take it easy. Okay. There you go. <sighs> Oh. 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 Mr. Dunal, welcome to our house. Thank you. What would we offer you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Oh, definitely. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. We want to say a very big thank you. Mm. Uh, I didn't know there were still a few good Samaritans on the floor. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bella, you can say that again. Honestly, I never believed good people like you still exist in Nigeria. Thank well, you so very much. You're, you're welcome. I mean, I don't know how I would have lived it myself if you had sustained some life-threatening injuries. So I'm so grateful to God for that, honestly. Mm -hmm. We are grateful. <laughs> And like the doctor said, I'm fine. So you really have nothing to worry about. Yes, honestly, when he said that, I was really happy because <laughs> I mean, what would I have done if he had sustained some really, 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 I don't know, huge injury? <laughs> so I'm so grateful that he wasn't up to that extent, honestly. <laughs> well, yeah. glory to God, they happened the way. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, ladies, I I have to take my leave now. But um, if you need anything, anything at all, okay, just feel free to call me, mm -hmm. all right? No problem. Okay. I'm sorry, I won't be able to work you out. Oh, I'm no, so no. tired. That's, that's fine, that's fine. I don't expect you to. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Mr. Dunn. All right. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Thank you very Get well much. soon, okay? Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Steve, I'm talking to you. 
you, you, you just have to listen. I am talking to you. Yes, I'm, I'm, How about you? You swore to treat her better. You swore you've changed. You made me convince her. Come on, man. How could you put her in that kind of situation? What if she had died? This is the height of wickedness. I am highly disappointed in you for this. What have she not done to make sure that things work out between the both of you? What has she not sacrificed just for you? This is messed up! Oh, and then um, Sarah, Sarah called me and she said she was around the area and she wanted to stop by. I said, okay, I'm home. She came back, she brought my favorite wine. We started to drink. I don't know what happened. I swear, before I knew it, I don't know what happened. Then she walked in on us. She took me on the way. I, I, was, I would never do that, bro. You know me now. Can you listen to yourself? No, come on, tell me. Can you listen to yourself? Your justification for cheating on the woman you proposed to was you didn't know she's gonna walk in. You didn't know she was there. Not like that, man. Listen, Steve. I am not comfortable calling my hair right now. You messed up! Yes. This is messed up! I'm not cheating on you. You, you shameless people. I want you to die. I want you to be caught coming for ever touch her again this time. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, it's not what you're saying, Bella. Let me. Let no, me, no, 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 no. Let me now. Bella, Give me, let me treat you so you let's say. Bella, Bella, please. You will get what you deserve. But for now, you need to calm down. Put yourself together. Please. I swear, if I ever see that looks like you around that girl. Uh, around you? With your no such crocodile tears and flowers, you will regret ever being born. I promise you. Bella, I'm sorry, okay? Keep your sorry for yourself and you better watch your back. It's okay, it's okay. Nonsense! <laughs> you see? You see what I'm talking about? Guy, you really messed up this time. You messed up! Bella! 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 Listen, I am sorry about what happened here, okay? I'm sorry about everything. How can we be this wicked? Sleeping with put next door neighbor and pretending they don't have a relationship. This is total wickedness. Ha! Trust me, no sane person can support this. But can't you see the bright side? What bright side? Please tell me, what do you mean by bright side? This happened before we accepted his proposal. So there's nothing that will make her come to him again. Blessing in disguise. Huh. You don't know Ruth. Ruth will run back to this fool. But you know what? Not on my word. I am not going to let that happen. No, come on. I don't think she'll want to do that with all this thing that happened. Roots deserve the best. I am so pissed, right? Like, I need to, I, I feel like I... Come on, just calm He down. needs to be taught a lesson. <sighs> Even if it's a teeny weeny kind of lesson. He just needs to be taught one. He will get what he deserves. Trust me on that, okay? <sighs> um, Bella, I was thinking if we can just sit out with me and have a bottle of drink. Bottle of drink? Yeah. Look, Yusuf, I am not in the mood, okay? My body is literally shaking. Ah, oh, come on, Bella. There's nothing that few short of drinks and a friendly conversation cannot fix. And beside that, we afford me the opportunity to get to know this loyal friend. Please? <sighs> Look, I don't have a lot of time, okay? I, I, I still have to go back to Ruth to check up on her. Trust me. We're not going to take much time. And as soon as you want to leave, just say the word. We, you leave. Okay, fine. Oh, God. So, 
Where do you have in mind? Uh... What did you say? Mm -hmm. He left 10 minutes before you came in. <laughs> he was talking about how he loves me so much and I should please forgive him. He also said he's ready to take blood oaths to prove himself to me. <laughs> you say what now? <coughs> he's very lucky that I did not catch him. I did not use my two eyes to see him in this house. Eh? It wouldn't have been a matter of blood oath. It would have been bloodbath. Like, that guy has got so. Um, Sarah so came to apologize. That one. Good readings. Apologize indeed. <laughs> you know, thinking about it. I owe you an apology, Bella. Yes, I mean. I should have listened to you earlier. I'm sorry. What was I thinking? You're my best friend. I'm sorry, really. It's okay. You know? That's by the way, anyway. The most important part is that you have finally gotten away from the grip of that monster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And with that said, when are you coming back to work? To work? Already? Yeah. I thought you said you wanted me to rest longer. Yeah, I said that. And now I'm saying, when are you coming back to work? We miss you. I miss you. Oh, so I have been missed. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want me to come back to work, you have to bribe me. <laughs> okay. Let's assume I'm going to go through with this bribe of yours. What am I bribing you with? Tell me what's going on between you and Yusuf. Ah. You say what now? Uh-huh. Mm. What's going on? <laughs> There's nothing going on between me and Yusuf. Well, honestly, nothing. What do you thank me for? You think I don't see his calls? Or how you sound when you're talking to him? <laughs> well, <laughs> there's nothing there. We're just, you know, we're just there. But like, is there nothing or you do not want to tell me? Okay, fine, Ruth. He's a great guy. He's into me. And I he into likes... him. Oh my God, is that a face? You girl! You like him? Please, look. This is not a topic to be discussed. Okay? Really? Mm -hmm. But that's what I want to talk about. I'm so, not talking. Tell me. Steve. You really got some stupid gods. So you want me to go back to your roots and beg her to come back to you? After all the things you've done to her? You're my friend. Ruth listens to you. I, I know. I am seriously reconsidering our friendship. Because I don't think I want to continue being friends with someone that has no conscience. Oh, I warned you about the losing Ruth. And you wave it out. Newsflash, you've lost her forever. So don't talk like that now. Huh? Look, I know I messed up. But remember Ruth and I? Where we go, where we've come from. It's not today, oh. You know the sacrifices I made for Ruth. If I didn't love Ruth, why would, why would I do all the things I've done for her? Huh? Why would I make all the sacrifices I've made? I know I can get stupid sometimes. I know I messed up. I don't know what comes over me. Huh? But I'm ready to make amends. I swear. Just like you said the previous time, what happened? Listen, let me advise you something. 
the best thing you have to do is just to go and look for your match someone that can cope with your excesses and leave ruth alone let her live her life is that too much to ask you've done a lot of damages to this girl See young girl alone this is about friendship bro. you're supposed to be my friend you're supposed to have my back bro. you know how much i love ruth bro? Just the way you're sounding, Steve, you're supposed to have my back. Huh? Ruth is the only woman who, I, who, who my, heart, my heart beats for. I can't live without Ruth. I beg you. Talk, help me. Help me. I'm your guy now. I can have your back on other things. But you see, this particular one is a no-no to me. Go and look for your match. Leave that poor girl alone. Is this is all like you. So you're telling me you've joined the world. You've joined everybody against me. Huh? You know how long we, we, we've been friends? Huh? Guy, are you not supposed to be there for me? I would advise you, if you have any other thing to say, just bring it up, let's talk about it. But you see this particular one? You don't cast. This matter don't cast. Forget about this matter, please. Let's have our drink. Uh, what's, what, what is this now? You shock me, you. If anybody else in the world would do this to me, not you. Like, 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 who do I have now? Huh? <sighs> this is my room. Oh, it's really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Please sit. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> oh, bless. I forget. I got you this. Really? Yeah. Tuna. <sighs> Are you not doing too much? <laughs> no, it's... I mean, it's nothing, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, How's Bella? How's she doing? Bella is fine. Very well. Oh, okay. She's been asking about you. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, tell her I said hi. Cool. I'm sorry. What do I offer you again? <laughs> oh... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you have happiness? Bella, I need you. To talk to Ruth for me. Please. <laughs> Bella, I beg you. So the devil had decided to come out of the shadows. Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. You're here to convince me, Bella, to talk to Ruth for you. Oh, you know that won't happen now. Bella, please. Bella, look, I've learned my lessons. I, oh. I, I, I'm changed. I'm not the same person of yesterday. I'm, I, I'm changed. I'm telling you, I'm a different person. Oh, I see. You have to... <laughs> okay, wait. Let me tell you a story. Hmm? The root of yesterday is no longer the root of today. And that means reality just dawned on you. Bella. I'm, okay? Bella, please. I know you can talk to Ruth for me. But like, even me, I'm not the same person of yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm different. I'm changed. I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah? And I will never make her to cry again. Like, never. I'm I telling am you, sorry, Bella. Sorry, my darling. You've lost her forever. Now just move away. I want to go to my office. Bella, Bella, please now. I know you can't. School! Go! Bella, just. Bella, please. I'm this sorry. is my office. Don't go away. This is my office. Why can't you even believe that I've changed? Huh? I've changed, too. Bro, you don't understand. You have to do something. Huh? It's getting out of hand. For the first time we've been apart this long. You know, it's hurting my heart, bro, because I'm not used to this. You have to do something. You, we usually make up quickly, oh. It doesn't take this long. Steve, I remember promising never to interfere if you ever hurt her again. You're this girl. You're not good for this girl. Let this girl be. Can't you get it? Yusuf, it seems like you are not understanding me, yo. Losing Ruth will be devastating, yo. You, 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 you won't like what will happen if I lose Ruth. I'm serious. There's something inside of me, yo, Krako. Help me. 
You are my friend. Help me, Yusuf. Yusuf, help me. Steve, you don't need to apologize to me to convince her to come back to you. I personally, I will not advise her to go back to you. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm having a date. In short, look, look at the time. I have a date with Bella right now. And I wouldn't want to keep her waiting. So I have to leave now. You see, I'm talking to you as my friend. Don't worry, we'll talk I'm later. Talking, when, when something happens, don't come and blame me. I'm talking to you as my friend. You should step in and try to solve this problem. You're, you will see, you're not helping the situation. Root, root, root. <sighs> I came to warn you, Ruth. I came to give you one final warning. Since you are deciding that you want to remain single for the rest of your life, it's okay. Since you also say that uh, you will never give me the chance to show you how much I love you, it's okay. Hmm? I've seen that <laughs> you've decided that you will never come back to me. And I want you. But I'm here to make you a promise that since you don't want to come back to me, nobody will have you. Ruth, I'm telling you, nobody will have you. This is a promise I'm making to you. Listen to me. Nobody will ever have you. And I will make sure I keep this promise until I die. So you came into my office to threaten me? Now, if you do not get out of my office right now, you will see the other side of me. telling you so you can tell that monster of a friend that you have want him to leave my beautiful friend alone she's not some property that he acquired and all of a sudden has some certain kind of right over her what have i not told him i've tried my best to let steve understand that ruth has moved on with her life to tell you the truth steve is really getting on my nerves well, like I said, tell him. Because come tomorrow, Ruth will go find a complaint. And once that is done, whatever happens to him is all on him. I'm just giving you a heads up. I will try and talk to him again. That is if he agrees to meet. So <laughs> do you realize that Steve has been avoiding me since he realized 
I am not supporting his stupidity. Can you imagine that? Hmm. Well, it is none of my business, but he better receive sense. Bella? Bella? Are you trying to warn me or you're asking me to tell him? <laughs> Why is your face like this? Why is it mean as if I'm Steve? Why would my face be like this? I mean, what kind of a friend do you have called? In fact, I don't even know what to call because that guy is demented. Honestly speaking, I wonder myself. But trust me, I'm actually adjusting things. I'm trying to adjust things gradually. It's just a matter of time. You better do. What's that on your lips? What do you mean by what's on my lips? What is on my lips? Wait, wait, wait. Looks like aunt. Well, let me see. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, lady. Let me get to you. Babe, hmm? I honestly cannot believe I was in bondage, thinking it was love. Well, when I was telling you to leave that douchebag of a man, you didn't believe I was telling you anything nice now. You didn't even want to listen to what I had to say. But thank God for Dona. At least now you know the difference between being in love and being loved. <laughs> You can say that again. Mm -hmm. So, talking about my baby, <laughs> I told him about Steve and his stupidity. Okay. But I didn't tell him about Steve's threat because I'm sure Steve is just a backing dog. He will not do anything. Well, backing dog, Chihuahua, which everyone you call him, I just feel you still have to tell him just in case. Never can tell. Okay, Mrs. Lecturer, no problem. So enough about me, tell me. How's your vacation at Jesus Place? Cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. You call that one vacation. I'm just at his house now. Just four days. What's there? Four days. Just. Uh -huh. And I'm sure you do not want to come back. So girl, tell me. Is it good? What is good? I'm just here. Yeah. You don't like to give me this. Tell me, how is it going? See, forget me. I just, just leave them. Why? There's nothing to tell. Just leave it. Mm. I'm sure it's it's in the right spot. Is it oh, okay? What kind of Steve, what is your problem? Don't you know when to stop? Why do you go about embarrassing yourself in the name of fighting a lost battle? You are speaking grammar. The point is clear. If I cannot have Ruth, nobody else will have her. You lie. Do you hear me? I say you lie. Okay. You had your chances and you wasted them all. Listen to me. You will leave her alone to live her life with whosoever she chooses. And that is a must. Or else what? I'm asking you. Or else what? I called you and I asked you to intervene. But you refused. Now, I don't want you to intervene anymore. I don't want you to follow my lead. Just continue doing your hiding seek with that uh, foul mouth girlfriend of yours. How do you call her? Bella. Eh? Bella, continue. Do not interfere. In my business, I've warned you. Steve, I won't have you insult my woman that way. 
Sakani Nada Allah. This is the last friendly warning you will get from me. The next time you go anywhere around Ruth or Bella for that matter, will I tell you? You ever be regret burning in this era? You have me to contain it. And that is a promise. <laughs> Defender of the justice. <laughs> I'm sure what you need to say, you've said it already. Get out. Get out, my friend! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I can see you already know my name. She must have told you a lot about me, right? Yes, she did actually. Everything about you, she told me. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you one more time. What are you doing here? Well, I came as a gentleman to talk to you, you know. You see, Ruth is uh, the only one I love. She's the only one that is meant for me. I swear I cannot stand seeing her in the arms of another man. So I came to talk to you so that you can end whatever you have with her. So that she will come back to me. And we can move on with our lives. And your point is? My point is, Donatus, stop seeing you with her. Just break up with her and whatever it is. I want us all to move on with our lives in peace. <laughs> Do you understand? Mr. Steven. And if I don't? If you don't. <laughs> if you don't. Bad, bad things will happen, Donatus. Bad things. I mean, uh, things that... Uh, you should not even be caught up in. First of all, I won't be able to guarantee your safety or the safety of the ones you love dearly, those ones that are dear to your heart. Take example, um, your sister, she's in uh, Ikeja, right? Or your grandmother who's in Ogba. They are good people, Donatus. So you, you, your family, you people are good people. You should not be caught up in this kind of thing. Donatus. I know you're wondering how I even enter your estate. How about new your house? Hmm? <laughs> Mr. Steven, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Look, a wise man said, a real man knows when he has lost the battle completely. And also, the medicine man who sells medicine for cholera when he avoids to take his own dose of the medicine, cholera wipes off the village. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, that's it. Hey, Dona. <laughs> this is the friendliest Steve you will ever see. This will be the last time you will see a Steve like this. Oh, should I open the door for you? <laughs> Yes, my good friend. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I thank God. Oh, everything is fine. Business is fine. The family is fine. 
Yes. How are you and uh, how is your family doing? Okay, that's great. That's great. Yes, my friend, I need you to do something urgently for me. Yes. All right. Thank you. Baby. Mm. My baby. <laughs> what would you like as your birthday gift? Anything. Anything you get from me is fine. As long as it's coming from the man that I love. <laughs> you really know how to regain my spirit. <laughs> and I love you so much for that. I love you too, babe. Love you. I love you too, baby. <sighs> baby, that reminds me. Has Steven been contacting you again? Um, Steven? No. Not physically. But he's been sending me threatening messages. Are you serious? Do you know what's going to happen now? I want you to keep those messages. Yes, because they, they might be needed. So just do me a favor and keep them. Don't discard them, all right? Okay? That's not a problem. Hi. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. I hope I will not interrupt in anything. Hey girl, of course you are. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'll just I'll just go. I didn't see anything, I promise. No. You didn't see anything. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait, this girl is crazy. I tell you, I know. <laughs> Well, sir, thank you for this information. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I will be more careful. Yes, I will. All right. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, love. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wish you all the best. Yes. Thank yes. you. I know. I have a little announcement to make, everybody. <clears throat> hey, baby. Yes, sir. You came into my life and you beautified everything. And you gave me peace. And I want this to last forever. Okay? Thank you. If you will excuse me. Okay. I 
Like I said, I want this to last forever, babe. And... Mr. Steven Alu, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Mr. Donatus Ujam. You are hereby asked to remain silent, as whatever you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Now, move it. Move it! Reasons to start brothers. Too much. 